Well, let's talk to Melissa Constanzer. She's a meteorologist with AccuWeather and joins us from their studio. Melissa, I, I know some folks on the island of Lanai, and uh, I heard from one of my friends today. He said, uh, we are hunkering down. We're ready for this thing, but it's really slow moving. We don't really know what the path is. Is, is that one of the biggest things about this, trying to determine where it's going to go? This is a difficult storm to track because while we have a pretty good idea of where it's going to go, it's just a matter of when and how it adjusts as it does so. So we know it's going to go north and then hook to the west, but it could go a little bit further or wobble before it actually turns and then goes to the west. So there's a lot of concern still in this track forecast. Right now, though, uh, major hurricane category four is Hurricane Lane, 130 miles per hour, moving to the northwest at seven miles per hour. And it started to take a little bit of a more of a northerly track, but it's already dumping rain along the state of or through the state of Hawaii. In fact, some places here picking up more than a foot of rain. Hilo, by the way, usually averages around a half an inch for the month of August. Obviously, that's well broken. So you can see here, Lane is going to work through these warm waters. That would help strengthen it, but here's the problem. It's going to encounter these stronger westerly winds. Those winds are going to help to rip it apart. We call it wind shear, and that's really going to also try to entrain some drier air into the system. And actually, you can see that on the water vapor. Here is Lane. Here's the state of Hawaii, and this yellow over here that's drier air. So that will try to slowly weaken it. So the storm is projected to slowly weaken as it moves closer to the state of Hawaii. But the problem is, where does it make that turn and how close to the state of Hawaii does it get? And Mike, you mentioned uh, some friends there um, on that island. Well, that's actually one of the closest points. It could become within 30 miles of that island there, which is one of the islands of Maui here. And so that's the problem. That would put it possibly within the hurricane force wind band. So we could actually see hurricane force wind gust on that island. We certainly would in the higher elevations through some of the other islands. So winds will be one factor, but really the story with this will become the heavy rain. And as I said, we are going to be talking about here just the impacts on much of the islands here. 90 miles from the state of Hawaii, that's its closest track as we go through tonight. Friday night, it works towards Maui, but some of the islands there could be close to 30 miles as far as the distance from the center of the storm. And then Oahu, the main island, coming in about 40 miles. So everyone under a hurricane warning or at least a hurricane watch here throughout the islands. The big story, though, will really turn to, I think, flooding. We've already seen that through the big island. We have flash flood warnings in effect through parts of Maui and Hawaii, and the flash flood watches remain in effect for the duration of the storm because some places here will actually pick up close to uh, four to eight inches locally a foot. The higher elevations could pick up one to three feet. So this is going to be a pretty impactful storm. We'll watch for flooding and mudslides here, Mike. And Melissa, the governor telling people you, you better be willing to hunker down for two weeks, have two weeks of supplies. I, I think that kind of spells some of the problems, like you say, mudslides, lots of rain. Uh, even the surf itself could be very high as well. Yeah, the surf is going to be a big problem. We do have high surf uh, warnings in effect here for much of the islands, so that can cause some erosion. Now, the good news about Hawaii is it's a lot of rocky shores, so too much beach erosion is unlikely here to really impact a lot of structures, but nonetheless, it's a big problem. And really, again, the duration of this storm will be watching flooding because it's several days. I showed you that forecast through Friday night into Saturday of rainfall through the state of Hawaii. Melissa, thanks so much for tracking things for us. Really appreciate it.